Hi guys, you're back with Adam Light on week two of the hashtag Ask Ads question and answer video blog. Okay, this time I have a question from Billy Brooks who says, what are the best exercises to build solid abs and the best pre and post workout nutrition? First of all, thanks very much for the question, Billy. I appreciate it. Um, I'm going to keep these video blogs really simple and easy to follow, so I'll tackle the first part of your question for you now on the abs exercises, and you'll be able to find a much more detailed sort of video blog section on nutrition coming up on my website at the end of January when it launches. Today, however, I'll give you some details on how I structure my abs training and explain briefly why I do it in that way, along with a couple of my own tricks to kind of make abs training that a little bit more effective, all right? Then I'm going to show you a quick video of a circuit I would make to kind of blast my abs at the end of a gym session and I'd maybe do that every sort of second workout, I don't do it every time guys. So we've got the rectus abdominis right down the middle, that are the kind of six pack muscles if you like. And they create kind of forward flexion, so you guys will probably know them because from crunches and all that kind of stuff, so you really feel the kind of burn right down the centre. Then we're going to work the internal and external obliques which twist and rotate the torso and give you that kind of good sort of V-shape at the bottom of your abs that everyone kind of, kind of sort of looks for. Then we've got the lower back, really important guys, it's made up of the quadratus lumborum, the multifidus and the erector spinae, which won't make much sense to most of you, but they're muscles that really support all the big lifts like your squats and deadlifts and all that kind of stuff. And that's why I tend to do more of a core circuit rather than just abs because I need to really need to kind of increase my overall core strength to get those big lifts weights up and get more gains sort of from my training. Lastly, before I show you the exercises, two very important notes to take from this video. First of all is breathing. If you guys think about it, if you take a deep breath in, you've created all that kind of intra-abdominal intra core sort of pressure, all right? So when you try and crunch, you can't crunch properly and get a decent squeeze because your lungs are kind of full of air. So, Really important guys that you're focusing on breathing out when you're crunching and if you try that breathing out and crunching down you're going to feel those abs working a lot harder. It's also going to get deepen those, those kind of cuts in your abs, especially the linea alba which is right down the middle of your, of your six pack splitting the sides up better. And the tempo, it's not a race guys. You, shouldn't, you should be thinking about getting the most out of each, each exercise and focusing on the squeeze, thinking, am I getting the right burn and the right muscles that I'm trying to target here? All right, um, so that's it as far as information goes. I'm just gonna show you the exercises now, guys, and get on with it, so circuit time. I'm gonna start off with one for our upper abs, and then lower abs, and then each side of our obliques, and then onto our back. So, first exercise. I'm just going to explain each one first of all, and then I'm going to do about, I don't know, 12 to 15 reps of each to kind of show you how it looks all, all together as a circuit. Shouldn't take more than sort of two or three minutes. Um, you guys can repeat it two or three times, I'm only going to show you once. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to bring the legs up and I'm going to work the top part first of all. So we're just going to do a basic support your neck and breathe out. Crunch, squeeze at the top, nice and slow on the way back down. Breathe out, crunch, squeeze at the top, nice and slowly back down. So you're going to make sure you're keeping your shoulders slightly off the floor and keeping your core engaged all the time. Next one, I'm just going to put my hands out to the, to the side. The mistake a lot of people make in this one is swinging their legs from here all the way up. So all you're doing is creating momentum with your legs to lift your bum off the floor. You want to take the momentum out a bit and make your lower abs working at the bottom. So, <coughs> just going to breathe out. side of your obliques, I'm just going to be in a side plank and I'm going to lift our hip up and come underneath with our hand, breathing out and back down, breathing out, squeeze in, back down, just a simple. <clears throat> Fourth one we're going to do on the right side, same deal, to work both sides evenly and then the last one's a cobra raise from the back. So put your feet, your toes on the floor, back down your heels and you can lift your front up. Squeeze the back, and then we slow that up. Okay? Go. Right. Circuit time, so 12 to 15 reps of each. 
So again, focusing on my breathing, focusing on, on the control I've got in each exercise. So I'm not rushing through it, guys, and thinking about what I'm doing. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for the next task guys.